Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number six in our series, statelesscode.com, WordPress. And in the previous episode, I've got the site header kind of um, styled to a reasonable extent. Um, gonna continue on this one, trying to get the um, the general page um, give us a margin, at least for larger, um, larger screens. It doesn't look too bad on the, um, on the smallest screen there. It, it, the, the responsiveness allows for it. I mean, I, I might put like a, a single M of margin there, but not, not a lot there. So that's, uh, what we'll, start doing go in and take a look at the so essentially I think I can just take this margin and apply it to the content as well. Take a look at the layout. Adding Y8. See what this does for us. So that moves things off the edge for content. We'll see how it looks smaller. not bad. You also see how narrow we get here. Get down to the smaller device. Gives us a nice little amount of margin on the side there. Probably want to do the same thing on the on the right for the small size. fairly readable. The sidebar there is ugly, but we'll get beyond that. All right, so that is working. I'm not sure I want to go any maybe a little bit wider than this for the large view. Let me check the tailwind width.
there in the layout. some changes to the width here. So that's going to make things way too wide and possibly scrolling on the small screen. Oh, that's interesting. That made things narrower, not wider. A look at the box here. is the main All right, so prose gives us that max width 65 characters Which is a nice readable item there. I think I just want to bring my margin up on everything. See what happens when I do that. That's not even that far. Let's see. It's a 2XL. Territory there. So at 2XL I can go bigger.
48 there. That's seems reasonable. Let's find out where my so the sidebar is there. Footers there. Nothing in it. All right, so that gets me to mostly good enough. I can tweak this later, but. That's reasonably responsive. It's not terrible. The other thing I'm going to do, so I had a thing to check and make sure that I could embed some embed. Uh, YouTube videos in a post that seems to have worked pretty well. I just choose YouTube uh, from the Gutenberg editor, and that seems to work fine. Um, that takes me off site to the bookmark, but still beneficial to have. This is the the default Gutenberg code block here. So you can see this is um, not terrible, but not, not great. The comment functionality I'm not overly fond, fond of here. Add that to the backlog. So I think we can just move um, and sure YouTube embedding works. It does, so I can get that knocked out here. Um, MVP of theme, home page and about page I haven't started yet. Let's take a look at syntax highlighting. So I'm going to try first using, where was it? And lighter. So there are a couple options here, and again, this is a local install, so if I don't like this one, I can try um, the other main option there, which was um, Syntax Highlighter and Evolved, I think. But out of the two, this seemed to be slightly more frequently updated and has 
um, seems to be relatively easy to use. Get back to, there we go. So this is the syntax highlighting choices. So the highlighter evolved has more installations. Uh, it doesn't, hasn't been tested as with as late of a WordPress version. Um, so I'm gonna give this one a shot first and see how well it does. So installation, download the zip file, extract the content, um, upload the complete folder to the content plugins directory, and then activate the plugin. So let's give it a shot. Download the file. Go into the terminal. What? No, I do not want to be audited. Okay. So we've got, go move back here, copy. Zip. So, yeah. Moved it into its own directory, so I'm going to probably going to have to sudo this to get it to work properly with the. Super user, go to the So miters there. I need to make sure that the cache is writable by the and miter. Else is www data, yes. Capital R. And then cache. 
is writable by that item. Upload it. Activate the plugin. Let's see if I can activate the plugin. Lighter. She'll activate it. Read some documentation here. Change log, debug information, and it has information about how you can configure it. So there's lots of options there. We'll just try some of these around. It can be over written okay so by default we're going to be two spaces we're going to use the scroll bar And then I guess I'll enable raw code on double click. Save those changes. Let's see what else we've got here. Theme customizer I'm not going to deal with right now. Editing. Keep it with the Gutenberg. I'm not going to deal with the compatibility mode. I don't think I'm going to be dynamically adding code via XHR, so I'll leave that alone. And then read this and I'm not going to deal with any of those for now and go back to appearance and so I'll play around with this existing post that I've got I wonder if I can just turn that block into a Oops. So let me see what I can do here. Change it to Ruby. this Ruby and change this Ruby. I will update and see what happens when I try to view it. I do not 
mine with that. That is pretty nice. So I'm going to just go in and play with the the lighter appearance here. Let's see. What happens when I change it to Monokai? So that's more what you would see in like Sublime. I'll try a couple other ones and see if I like one any better than that. All right, so I tested around and I did wind up going with the uh, the Monokai theme. So I like that the best. We will take a look at our backlog here. So this is good enough. Move to done. So I've got home page, about page, and then other than renaming the name of the theme, I'm not sure I need to to actually change all of those references, but uh, we'll we'll stop there. And I think that MVP and about page can mostly be done via Gutenberg. Um, I still need to um, to improve the sidebar improve the um, the comment styling but um, I'll add those in pause and add those in so I've got those let me take a look at get out of super user come on hit the sage only thing that changed was the layout. I'll add a commit about the layout styling. Add pause and write my message. All right, so we'll stop there and sign the commit. Push it to the remote. stop there. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.